Thank you for your choosing Popeyes. How can I help you? Hi, can I have two spicy chicken sandwiches, please? Two spicy? Sure. Thank you much. Have a good one. Thank you. Hi, can I have two spicy chicken sandwiches, please? Two spicy chicken sandwiches? Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. You want just the sandwiches? Yeah, just the sammies, please. Wanna make them into meals? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. Go ahead and put it on. Alrighty, thank you much. That was a salesman right there. Yeah, she was trying the, out. Uh, three different upcharges. A effort. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, you saw it last week. We had the KFC one. Now it's against the Popeyes one. This is a versus for the ages. Both the KFC and the Popeyes chicken sandwiches. $3.99 acquired jump cut. They both of them are bagged, too. Yeah. These heating bags are the strategy. All right, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, first off, Popeyes has the cooler bag. I just like their design work better. Just wanted to get that out of the way. We'll take these out, smash that down. Okay. Side by side comparison, right out of the gates. Wow. The Popeyes looks way better. It's way thicker. Uh, in terms of just the pure circumference, if you're looking from like a top angle, they're about the same size. Yeah. In terms of like how wide around they are, but this is way thicker of a sandwich. This bun also looks a lot better, if you ask me. There's like a glisten to it where this is like a little pressed down, I don't know. Yeah. And then open it up. Sauces both look pretty much the same. Don't see much of a difference. And then we've got pickles and more sauces underneath. These pickles, they look fairly similar. They both look like they got good quality pickles. These Popeyes looks a little bit thicker. Really it's looking like just the girth and thickness of that chicken sandwich is the, the biggest difference so far, I'd say. Man, when you, especially on camera, when you had them side by side, KFCs looked like the little brother. Mm -hmm. I mean, even, Jesus Christ. Well, why is it so small? I mean, it should be like, we had that prediction when we had KFCs last week. We're like, I think Popeyes was thicker, and uh, it is. Mm -hmm. And the same price, but the only saving grace of the KFC before we bite into these, 70 less calories. Oh, I don't care about that. Yeah, and if you do, uh, you're probably watching the wrong show. <laughs> Holy smokes, mine too, dude. Like, yeah, it's just huge. Fight. All right, which one do we start with? Um, I don't care. This one's in my hand. KFC. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> That's how we determine it. All right, KFCs. We had it last week. Loved it. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. So distinctly KFC. Like their seasonings, their blend. It's mm -hmm. so good and it's so KFC. Tasty, tasty. I'm gonna chomp into this. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Also very. Popeyes-ish to me. Absolutely. They both have their distinct little, but they're not much different. KFC, Popeyes. KFC, Popeyes. Science experiments. They're both so good. Like, they're the exact same price. They both hit so well. And the price, by the way, is unbelievable. I know. Four bucks. Mm -hmm. Both spicy mayos are good. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right that the Popeye's bun is better, at least visually. Yeah, definitely visually, but it doesn't make much of a difference in the eating process, I'd say. I'm not getting as huge of a difference as I expected in flavor. Me neither. I thought there was going to be a much clearer distinction, mm -hmm. and I'm right there with you. I'm not getting it. The star of the show for me is how they bread these sandwiches. Mm -hmm. The double breading and the crunch makes the sandwich so enjoyable. It's so satisfying. Like, there's so many different textures going on. And then when you get the tanginess of the pickles and like the, the heat from the sauce, it's just like the perfect fast food chicken sandwich, both of these. If you prefer one over the other franchise-wise, that's the one you're gonna like more. You're just gonna like the flavor of KFC or the flavor of Popeye's chicken. That's the only difference. It's just seasonings. What a fun video <laughs> for my stomach. Wow, yeah, there's way less of a difference than I expected. The size is the biggest differentiator. Yep. Flavor is so subtle. The flavor is so small and subtle, the difference. I think if you blindfolded me and handed me both, I'd think you gave me the same sandwich. A hundred percent, Unless yeah. I was really diving in deep, like. The only, the only like saving grace is like, it does have a little bit of that distinct Popeye's like breading and yep. I think their bre breading is, cause KFC's got those like herbs and peppers and stuff. Yep. I might be able to tell the difference, maybe on a good day. Mm -hmm. If I was like training my taste buds for it. <laughs> <laughs> you got sweatpants and like a, I don't know why I went gym teacher. I was like, oh, your gym teacher is training? Yeah. We may have lost by 26, but nobody called me a name. Hey, Coach Steve, 
You're a shit bag. That's what I think people who train are, gym teachers. Yep. Have you seen a gym teacher, what they look like generally? <laughs> I don't know about the ones you grew up with. My gym teacher was boy. like a 70 year old woman. Psychotic. She literally looked like she crawled out of a sewer. Oh my gosh. Mine was one of those guys. First off, his name was Mr. Gory. What a dumb, boring name. <laughs> Second off, he's one of those people who say Warsh. Oh no. You guys want to do, we got to do some push-ups. You say push. Push-ups. Do some push-ups, go to Washington. Shut the F up, Mr. Gory, before I spit <laughs> on you, dude. <laughs> I had a friend who pooped his pants in gym class one time. What was the rest of the day like for that kid? It was amazing. <laughs> it was one of the biggest like learning lessons of my life mm -hmm. that if you're cool and awesome, yeah. you can do anything you want. <laughs> And he didn't just poop his pants, he pooped on the floor. He was showing us how he could suck air into his butthole and, and uh, force fart. Oh. And he was like, check this out. And then a little turd dropped out of the bottom of his shorts. And everyone goes, oh my God, did you just poop? And he goes, don't worry about that. And he smushes it into the ground. Oh, he just owned it. And then Mr. Gory comes in and goes, hey, what are y'all doing over here? And uh, he just goes, oh, I think I brought some dog turd in. And then he just owned it and made it into a joke. And you can't, you can't make fun of someone who's like, yeah, of course I pooped yeah. in gym class. You're the dumb one for thinking, yeah, of course, idiot. Yeah, idiot. it was hilarious. Why wouldn't I poop in gym class? It made all of my friends laugh. Oh. You're, I'm not gonna be embarrassed by that. It's the funniest thing I've done all year. Confidence. And I was like, dang, dude, life is awesome. You just gotta own it and not be a baby back Bia about it, you know? Confidence is key. What's going on? Is that a shit? Do you think you have a winner? I think I do, I think I do. Okay, I think I do too. Uh, before we choose our winner, uh, let's do a shout out. Also, uh, the merch is now out to everybody. Yeah. So if you want this dope pizza shirt, if you want that shot glass, that's available. Let's do a shout out though. Yes. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right. Buy number 60 cheesecom We got the pizza shirt, 25 bucks. If you want to support the show and get a shot glass and get hammered with our catchphrase on it, uh, it's 1.5 ounces. Slam it. Uh, that's 10 bucks. That helps the show. We're gonna say some names of people that bought off the website. We love doing shout outs. If you don't like supporting creators and you don't believe in us, skip past this part and get to the part where we go, the stick sandwich looks better. I like turtles. Merch shout out number one goes to Mr. Jay Korea. <laughs> uh, Jay lives in Waukegan, Illinois, and we sent him the uh, hot sauce. We're doing it every month. He, the reason we're saying his, he just bought this, this is crazy. January 9th, he signed up Damn. for this uh, subscription service, and he's already getting a shout out. Most people are waiting six, seven months. It's because he jumped to the front of the front of the line. Yeah, you're a recurring customer. With the hot sauce mm -hmm. subscription. So we appreciate that. Excited to send that just out to the suburbs, to Waukegan, Illinois. I uh, hope you're enjoying your monthly little bottle of Sixer sauce, buddy. Yeah. Merch shout out number two goes to Mr. Jason Collins. Woo! Jason Collins sounds like just like a, a high school basketball coach that's yeah. really successful in like Indiana. I was thinking like like Jay Collins is what yeah. he'd, he'd go by though. Yeah, I, and my favorite Collins was Doug Collins, who was. was the Detroit Pistons coach for a long time. Mm. And one time uh, was no jokes. I hope I can find the photo. Was sitting like this on the Pistons bench when they were probably down by ninety. He was just doing this. <laughs> and I remember seeing that as a kid and going, "Cameras are always watching. Cameras are always. We're always watching." I literally have not thought of that in 20 years, yeah. so that my mind is messed up. Uh, yeah, Jason also got the hot sauce subscription, and uh, we couldn't be more excited that you guys are doing that. Number six with cheese.com, and uh, just a little sneak peek. This is prototype number two of the hotter hot sauce. We think this is probably the winner. Um, so hopefully in February, the new hot sauce will come out. I know a lot of you are so excited, so stay tuned for more updates. Yeah. We're <laughs> like a digital newsletter. Nobody cares, Sean. Come on, Google Images. It's just Michael Jordan scoring on three pistons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Uh, if you're watching this video and you've never seen us before, we make videos five days a week. And at this point in the video, we're gonna tell you which one uh, we pick over the other. And I just wanna preface this with saying, this was so minimal for me. Oh yeah, absolutely. They're so, so close. Unbelievable. So take that in. Yep. So I guess Eric McCluskey, who's just randomly sitting over there in that street corner, we'll ask him to start playing and then we'll just yell the one we like. Deal. Randomly, are we gonna count down? We should, we'll do a one, two, three, yell it. Gotcha. You know, things we normally do. Uh, Eric McCluskey, thanks so much. Nice coat, man. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. All right, on the count of three, Popeyes for KFC. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, Popeyes! Very minimal. The only thing it comes down to, in my opinion, is the size. It's, it's way bigger and, you know, price per ounce comes into play. I'm the type of guy when I'm buying groceries, mm -hmm. I look at cost per ounce. Me, and this is a little bit of a better deal is. on the cost per ounce. If the KFC chicken sandwich was like, let's say that was $349, I think I would have probably said, I would have yelled both. Yes. I think, I think KFC's needs to be a touch cheaper. Just because of the size, because basically. Because of the size. Yep. And uh, flavor-wise. Unreal. And these are definitely the top two flavored, or I would imagine. They are. 
they got to be the top two flavored chicken sandwiches in the fast food game. And for four bucks, man, both yeah. are great deals. Yeah, it's an incredible deal. KFCs is dropping uh, nationally very, very soon. I think early February. Uh, let us know if you guys have tried both yet. Right now, they're in nine cities, Chicago being one of them. So what's up, Test Market? And um, yeah, we'll be back here tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, we're headed to El Patron Mexican Tacos. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to rival uh, Vets where we went and loved. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. KFC Popeyes, nice job. Put us in your commercials. Bye. Sunset tonight. Stay here tonight. Won't fall again. But is this the end? And I hate myself even more than your father does. Midnight motel. Holding on to forgotten us. Tell me what you want, like. I know your friends never like me, but it's alright. You can stay with me, come and spend the night. I know you know the way to my house and the code to my wife.